I am always being asked for easy, quick weeknight meals. This is one of them. You need a dollar loaf of bread from Walmart or the bakery or wherever the hell you obtain a loaf of Italian bread. You will need some frozen meatballs. I'm throwing mine right in the air fryer. Is my air fryer clean? You tell me. It's, I wiped it out, okay? These are breakfast meatballs. Not, that's not me, nope, wrong ones. Back to the freezer I go. Italian meatballs, I should have known. They're in a bag that literally says Italian meatballs. Whatever's left, I'll feed to my children as a snack in their snackle box. Air fry these. All those are in the air fryer, slice your bread in half. Now, here's where things get a little off kilter. I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm going to scoop out a little bit of the bread innards. Not all of it, I like my bread to be bready, but I need a well to stick all of my meatballs inside of. I don't care what you use, just get the bread out of the bread, okay? Make a boat, a bread boat. It will not float. This is for snacking. What you do with your bread bits is none of my business. My bread is deboned in a separate vessel. I didn't like this vessel. We're gonna melt a stick of butter. Into my melted butter, garlic paste or garlic of some form or fashion. I don't care what you use. There's a healthy squirt in there. I am also going to use cheesening. One of you messaged me to tell me cheesening must be refrigerated. Yep, refrigerate after opening. So mine's not rancid yet. You could just use Parmesan and Italian seasoning. We're going to mix this all together. Basically, we're making a garlic butter situation, a garlic parmesan butter herb situation. To your bread, we are going to slather generously. Now that everything is sufficiently slathered, I am going to grate some fresh parmesan on top. If you have sprinkle cheese, use that. I looked for mine because I didn't want to do this, but couldn't find it. You could do this even quicker and easier for a weeknight if you just use pre-made garlic bread. Top this in your oven to toast. Broil it, do whatever you gotta do. My bread is melty and toasty and ready to be turned into a meatball sub. Too sweet. We are going to start by filling the lower well with our meatballs. As many as can fit inside. I am going to take a half a jar of pasta sauce that's been sitting in my fridge, and pour it over the top of these meatballs. Now, mozzarella on top. Remove the top bun. That's gonna burn if you put it back in the oven. We are going to pop this back in until the cheese on top is melted and bubbly and gooey and delicious and ready to be consumed. She's melted. It is now time to assemble the meatball sub. Oh look, we're done. And I know what you're thinking. Is it even good? And I sure as hell hope so because I am hungry. Let's try this. Matthew, can you come cut my sub? Please, it's hot and I don't want to. Can't leave it. Of course it's good. I made it. Follow along for more aggressive tutorials and easy weeknight bullshit.